This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas, and I need to get a new mic, seriously guys. Um, I'm going to have to start like a GoFundMe for a damn mic, because this is ridiculous. I, you know, the camera mic's not that bad. But I was going through some um, game footage, and I realized when it records on Elgato, the audio um, live commentary, if I get loud, it really distorted. And I'm not even close to the camera. Um, so it picks up too much feedback and noise. And I would love to get a better um, mic. I had a Blue Snowball, which was good, but again... It was another mic that picked up a lot of um, feedback and stuff because Blue Snowballs, if you don't know, they're more spatial microphones. Um, they're good for multiple people or if you set it in a room, but it has three different settings on it that'll let you expand um, its uh, range of um, hearing. Like, I'm sure you guys heard this on my... Um, HD camera, which kind of has the same thing. It's more of a spatial thing. Um, the Logitech uh, HD C920 um, camera. So, yeah, um, I want something a little bit more focused. I was thinking about the Blue Yeti, but if anybody knows of any other mics, um, tax time is coming. So if I can't raise the money through donations or something like that, or find it some other way, I will definitely spend some more taxes on a new microphone. Like I said, I'm looking at the Blue Yeti. I've been looking up reviews, but if you know of a good mic, please, please let me know. Anyway, let's move on to the actual subject at hand, which is, so, saw an article posted on my Facebook by somebody I know about Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, highly anticipated game by Bioware and EA. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to it because I did enjoy Mass Effect 2. I like Mass Effect 3. Never played Mass Effect 1. Um, and yes, I did like Mass Effect 3. I didn't think the ending was as bad as people said it was. But I mean, that's just me. It was an ending. It wasn't the greatest ending in the world. But I look at it like I look at um, No Country for Old Men. Good movie. Ending may be somewhat questionable. But hey, it was the ending that they chose. I respect that. Um, so, but anyway. Uh, so... This is article of PC Gamer, if I can remember, I'll put the link in the description. Where they're talking about how, you know how when people think about games and they address questions, the devs, the devs are more accessible now. They're on social media too. You know, they'll ask them, how long is the game? How much content is in the game? Uh, what's the story about? Uh, when it's going to be released? Um, of course, people concern themselves about uh, what's the... Uh, resolution and frame rates and things like that. You know, a multitude of technical and gameplay related uh, things. But one thing that people seem to be wondering about um, Mass Effect Andromeda is the sex. Someone tweeted uh, Mike Gamble, uh, one of the leads of the um, development for Mass Effect, at Bioware, and the tweet was simply, who can I bang? And, of course, Mike Gamble answered. You know, he was gracious enough to answer. And he said, so many, and the banging is pretty good. So, there you have it, people. If you're concerned about the sex in the game, because if you've ever played Mass Effect, I don't know if it's the same in 1, but I know definitely in 2, because when I played that, I was kind of, like, shocked to see, like, they really had a sex scene with, um... Master Chief and the person that you chose to quote unquote be with, I chose Jack. Um, and they they got super freaky. Um, the tank pushed me in the game, so I guess people want to see that shit more. Uh, okay. Um, sure. And that just brings me to this question for you guys: Is that stuff really that important? Are we at that point now where non, um, I guess you could say it's a gameplay thing, but 
Does this make the game a better game if you could fuck? Do you find extracurricular activities like that? Like, I know, like, in open world games where you can go all around, you can drive around, you can interact with a city that's cool. But say, for instance, like, with GTA, are you really hyped to pick up a stripper and bang her in your car or pick up a prostitute and get some head? Like, again, I understand extra, extra, yeah, extra curricular activities in games, especially open world games, are cool. Like, you can do these side things, you can do things that mimic real life, but is sex really uh, that important? Or do you not, does, does, you know, like with me, I'm okay with it as long as it's within the context of the world, the game. But it's not the key feature. It's not. I, I don't need that. Um, so that's why I guess I'm asking that question. Because I'm curious. Is this something that you need for a game to be more realistic? Um, I would think that the bigger concerns wouldn't be just what you can do. But whether or not the game is fun to play. And if the story is compelling. If it's something with a single player component. Um, but that's just me. Uh, I just wanted to know what you guys think. So as always, hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll hold you later. This is your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.